everybody, this is triplet 99 c here, and today is St. Patrick's Day, so you know what that means. N no, it, it doesn't mean drink to your heart's content, it means wear green! Which of course, I am wearing green, so you cannot pinch me. <laughs> so, my dad's side of the family, he has a bit of Irish and Scottish on his descendants and such. So that means I am part Irish, <laughs> but I have no idea what percent it is. It's probably a very small percent, but, you know, that'd probably explain why I'm so pale and why I burn with SPF 50 sunscreen. <laughs> and so, since I am too young to drink and I'm really not interested in drinking anyway, we're gonna do this little quiz here. It pretty much says, like, how Irish are you? So, I guess, let's see how Irish I can be. <laughs> Let's get into it. So what did St. Patrick believe a shamrock represented? The Holy Trinity, good fortune, good luck, or nature? You know, now it represents good luck. Um, well, that's a four-leaf clover. A four-leaf clover is good luck. Uh, just like a regular shamrock, like three leaves. Um, oh gosh, I really don't know. Maybe nature or good fortune? I'd probably say good fortune. I'm wrong. The Holy Trinity, really? I mean, I guess it makes sense, because it's three leaves. Um, what nationality is St. Patrick? I want to say Irish, because it's an Irish holiday, but I have a feeling that I am being tricked. <laughs> um, but I really don't know what other answer to say, because there's Irish, Scottish, German, British. Um, I really don't know what other answer to say. Everyone knows St. Patrick's Day as an Irish holiday, so I guess, of course, it's Scottish. I mean, I have both on my dad's side of the family, but... <laughs> um, according to myth, when is the best time to sneak up on a leprechaun? Um, when he's mending his shoes, when he's eating, when he's taking a nap, or when he's counting gold. Oh goodness. You know, I've never I've never heard of this myth before. <laughs> um here, like St. Patrick's Day, it's just like another day to like have fun and wear green. <laughs> like um most people here don't really like celebrate it too much. Like sure people will go out and use it as an excuse to get drunk, but other than that, we don't really have like a big celebration or anything. Like well we have the St. Patrick's Day parade, I think. But, um, maybe when he's mending his sh you know, gold? <laughs> oh, I was gonna say that! <laughs> mending his shoes, that sounded like a good thing to say. I should have just picked that anyway. Um, how many pints of Guinness are consumed worldwide on St. Patrick's Day? Worldwide? Um, a lot? Way too many? <laughs> Americans get very drunk, so do, um, Irish people. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said earlier, a lot of people here in America just kind of use St. Patrick's Day as, like, an excuse to, like, get drunk and stuff. <laughs> Even though they have work the next day. <laughs> or they, they will today, anyway, because today's Sunday. Um, maybe, let's say, one billion? Of course I'm wrong. I, I am really bad at this. <laughs> Dang. Uh, which of the following colors are in the Irish flag? It's, um, was it green, yellow, and orange? Or was it, oh lord, um, I think it has like orange and green in it. But I cannot remember for the life of me if it has white or yellow. Oh goodness. Um, yellow, orange, white. I think there's green in there. Um, <laughs> I I am so mad at myself. I've missed all of these questions. Um, is it green, yellow, or oh, of course it was white. <laughs> See, I knew it was one of those two. I knew that there was green and orange, but for some reason my mind was thinking that there was yellow, but there, there's not. 
Myth says that if a human catches a leprechaun, he has the ability to do what in turn for his release. Reveal the secret to life, give you his shoes, lead you to his gold, or grant three wishes. I think it's lead you to his gold, because, like, people here say, like, leprechauns have a pot of gold. Um, grant three wishes would probably be, like, a genie. <laughs> Maybe lead you to his gold. Really? Um, oh my god. <laughs> For real? <laughs> I thought, okay, see, this just proves how much I know, I guess. <laughs> uh, which of these colors was originally associated with St. Patrick's Day? I don't think it's green, because I remember hearing at one point that it was a different color. Um, green is now, obviously, because people wear it, <laughs> but um, I think it was blue. Well, at least I got that question right. <laughs> and this is the only question I've gotten right so far, so mm, I'm doing quite badly. <laughs> um, which U.S. city dyes its river green annually to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? That is a horrible idea. <laughs> um, Boston, New York City, Chicago, or Detroit? So none of my... None of these are the city I live in, thank god. <laughs> Dying your river green. That just seems like such a bizarre thing to do. Like, why would you... Why? <laughs> that seems kind of dangerous, in a way. Um, what city would do something as stupid as this? <laughs> uh, maybe New York or Chicago? <laughs> mm, I really don't know. Maybe Chicago? Oh, I got it right. <laughs> Chicago seems like it would do something like that. Chicago is a very interesting place from what I have seen, but um, I don't know. It'd be nice to visit, I suppose. <laughs> um, people traditionally wear green on St. Patrick's Day to avoid what? Getting pinched. <laughs> I have gotten pinched before on St. Patrick's Day and that was back when I was a kid and I owned literally no green clothes. <laughs> um, now I kind of like green. I mean, to me, I think it looks good, but um, on others, people don't like it. Like, um, people nowadays, most of the time, they just really don't wear green because they just don't like green or they don't have green clothes. They don't want to go out and buy something. <laughs> so, like, uh, today at church, like, more than half of the people weren't, weren't wearing anything green. <laughs> so, it's just kind of a silly thing, I suppose. And what was St. Patrick's given birth name? Oh boy. You know, I, I don't know. Um, Patrick O'Reilly, Henry O'Malley, Gabriel McSweeney, and Maywin Sukat. I'm probably butchering, butchering, <laughs> butchering some of these names. Um, I, I don't think it was Patrick. I think it was something else. It's maybe Henry? Really? Okay, I did not know that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of an English person. You are knowledge. <laughs> Is worth a pot of gold. Three right, yes. Three out of ten. I'm, <laughs> I'm so smart, guys. <laughs> Okay, so here's one more quiz. I felt like that quiz was a bit short and it would probably make the video a little too short for you guys, so I'm gonna do another one. It's another 10 question quiz. I found some that were 100, but I really don't want to be sitting here doing 100 questions. So let's just do this. Um, who was St. Patrick? A resident of Britain who was captured and enslaved in Ireland and then went on to convert thousands of Christian, I mean Irish people to Christianity. <laughs> um, an Irish monk who banished snakes from Ireland when they began destroying the potato crops. Um, I heard something about snakes having to do with this, so maybe that's the answer. Um, a British sailor who was captured by Irish pilots, pirates, oh my god, and converted them to Christianity before they made him walk the plank. And an Irish monk who saved his countrymen by warning them of a British invasion after receiving a vision from God of a great battle. I think it's the second one, because I heard something along the lines of, like, um, driving snakes out of Ireland, so... Mm. 
check answer, please. Oh, really? Okay. So it's the first one. Patron saint of Ireland was the resident of Britain, born in 387 and enslaved by pirates at age 16. Really? Okay. <laughs> I did not know that. Um... What do historians believe was St. Patrick's name at birth? Well, I already answered this <laughs> in the last one. <laughs> he took the name Patrick when he became a priest. Okay. Uh, where and when was the first St. Patty's Day parade in the United States? Oh, gee. Um, I have a feeling it's New York because a lot of things happen in New York. Um... But there's two answers for Boston. I have a big feeling. Hmm. I have a big feeling that it's New York. So. Hmm. And I was right. Okay. <laughs> New York in 1762. That's a very long time. <laughs> Why all the green shamrocks? Um, St. Patrick believed three leaf clovers had the power to heal and used them to cure the sick. Uh, St. Patrick used the shamrock to explain the Holy Trinity. I think it's Holy Trinity because we literally just answered a question about this. Um, the shamrock has come to symbolize St. Patrick's uniting of France, Britain, and Ireland in peace under Catholicism and none of the above. I think it's the second one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because on the last quiz had something about the Holy Trinity, so... Uh, which city has had a huge St. Patrick's Day parade and celebration since 1813? Ooh. You know? Is it? Mm, oh, Lord. <laughs> See, I don't know. Um, I've never been to any of these places, and I've never been to a St. Patrick's Day parade, so... I really don't know which of these cities has a, has the parade. Um... Was it New Orleans? Maybe? I'll just say that. Savannah, Georgia. Really? Georgia's not really a place that people think of very often. Um, the old southern town of Savannah is home to a large Irish-American population. Okay. Cool. Savannah, Georgia. That's not really a place that people would think of first. <laughs> uh, neither is the place I live. Mmm... <laughs> What does Aaron Go Bra mean? I am probably butchering that a lot. Um, celebrate spring, Ireland forever. I am Irish. Bottoms up. Mm. I have no idea. I'll, I'm guessing the. I'm guessing the last one. Ireland forever. Uh, it's an English language version of an Irish phrase that's typically translated as Ireland forever. Okay, cool. That's interesting to know. <laughs> 7 out of 10. I have half right, half wrong. <laughs> um, which of the following is an actual St. Patrick's Day tradition? Green dye is pumped into the Chicago River. Yes. Uh, the Statue of Liberty is draped with an Irish flag. I don't think so. <laughs> um, Massachusetts... Massachusetts designates the day as state holiday and closes schools. Um, well, it's a Sunday this year, so no need to close school. <laughs> None of the above. Well, it's green dye, because we literally just saw that on the last one, too. <laughs> what is this whole green dye thing, though? Like, celebration organizers dye a segment of the Chicago River green using a mysterious powder. Its formula is top secret, but officials say it's environmentally friendly. That seems very shady to me. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> How many Americans claim to have some Irish ancestry? Probably a lot. <laughs> um, I mean, I know I do. I'm not just saying it just because I think it'd be cool. Like, my dad's side of the family literally has Irish and Scottish heritage, but, um, like I said before, I probably don't have a big percent of it in me. <laughs> um, 3.33.1 I mean, million, 48.8 million, 
57.2 million, 71.1 million. Oh lord. Um, 48? Oh, it was the first one, of course. More than 33 million people, according to the 2014 U.S. Census, a number far greater than the population of Ireland. Yikes. <laughs> There's only 4.6 million in Ireland. Um, yeah, America's very big. <laughs> it takes a very long time to travel from one place to the other, and so therefore you can fit a lot of people in this big space, and so there's a great big mix of all kinds of people. <laughs> 9 out of 10. Um, what historic site has been lit up green? Wait, lit up in green on St. Patty's Day in recent years? Um, oh gosh, I don't know. <laughs> Um, Roman Coliseum, Leaning Tower of Pisa, Sydney Opera House, or all of the above? I don't know. <laughs> um, I've never seen, I've never been to any of these landmarks, and I've never heard of any of them being lit up green. <laughs> um, I'll guess the Sydney Opera House. All? Really? A slew of famous sites have been bathed in green light on the holiday, including the Sphinx in Egypt and South Africa's Table Mountain. Hmm, that's cool. That must take a very long time to put green lights on all that stuff. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> and once again, another question that we saw last time. <laughs> How many pence of Guinness are consumed on St. Patrick's Day worldwide? Um, I think it was, wasn't it 13 million? I think it was. Good. <laughs> I have a fairly good memory on some things. Some things, no. <laughs> um, 13 million pints are chugged on the holiday compared with 5.5 million on an average day. Wow. <laughs> Like I said, lots of people use this day as a day to drink. <laughs> I got 50%. I mean, I got 30% on the last one, so this is an improvement. <laughs> so, of course, I already know I'm not totally Irish. I already know that much for sure. I wasn't born in the country or anything. I was born here in America, so I am probably mostly... Um, this but, <laughs> but yeah it's um it's very interesting to know all this stuff like um I'm glad I got at least half of it right but um yeah very interesting to know about um all these things especially because I didn't know some of these things before so that should be the end of this video because I've already taken two quizzes and I probably should not take another one <laughs> So thank you guys so much for coming and thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like below and also feel free to subscribe so you can see more videos from me in the future, whether it be little gaming videos like this. And I also do speed paints as well as art tutorials every now and again. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.